Ladies and gentlemen, today we will discuss whether GM is really going to destroy all 100 plus C8 Corvettes that were damaged in the tornado at their plant. everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I'm going to give you some new news about the C8 Corvette from the GM factory and also some new news from Spring Mountain at the Ron Fellows Driving School for what they're going to start doing to all of their C8s. But before we get into that, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. Ladies and gentlemen, this really helps support the channel. You guys have been doing an excellent job. My thumbs up squad is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for doing that. And if you like what you're seeing here, please consider subscribing by smashing that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, I am back on CorvetteBlogger.com. And the first bit of news that I want to go over with you is this piece right here saying Scrape Armor partners with Spring Mountain Motor Resort and Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. Now, as usual, folks, I will be linking all of this information in the description below. So both of these articles from Corvette Blogger will be linked in the video so you can check out the full article. But let's scroll on down here. And the reason why this is significant to me is because as soon as I put the radiator protection on my car, I received a bunch of comments and emails about how GM did not approve of anyone putting radiator protection on the front of their C8s and that the radiators were fine, leaving them wide open. And I just thought that was very interesting. And then even Taj Juchter came out with a statement saying that there is no reason to put any protection on the front of the C8 Corvette, that it would be fine. And if you had any kind of overheating issues because you put that stuff on the front of your radiators, that they were not gonna cover it. Well, look here. All of a sudden, Scrape Honor announced today it has partnered with Spring Mountain Motor Resort and Country Club at the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. And look what we have, a picture of a radiator grill guard on the front of a C8. Now there's a reason why they're putting them on here for these cars, and you can see a close up right here. They're putting them on these cars because of the fact that they are on a racetrack and when these cars are following each other you're gonna have rocks and rubber fly up at the cars behind them and so these are gonna protect these radiators now there's no reason why you wouldn't want these for the everyday street driving because the exact same thing is gonna happen and one of the things that I was warned about with these radiator grill guards is that on the racetrack, they would overheat the car. Obviously, that was a false statement, and I don't understand why it was put out there that way, but it was a false statement because if they overheated the car, they wouldn't want them on any of the Ron Fellows cars because they're on the racetrack constantly. So anyway, I thought that was interesting and you can of course go to scrapearmor.com and you will be able to purchase their radiator grill guards. Now let's scroll up here because as you can see, they did add patented skid plates to the C8 as well. Now they don't have any pictures of those on here, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. So I would just guess that they're on the bottom here so that just in case someone does go off the road, they have protection from any kind of rocks or whatever's off the track. So they did add some skid plates too. And like I said, you can read all this below, but let me know in the comments down below what you think now about them adding this to these cars. Now it seems like everything GM said and everything that everybody else read about these radiator grill protectors is pretty much false and they should have been on the C8 from day one. So let's move on to the next and most important article here. All right, so this is the article that 
you all came to see about. This is the Tornado Damage C8 Corvette ready for the crusher. So it has been verified now by these pictures, thank you to Cornell Warner on Facebook, that all of these C8s are ready for the crusher. And I know in my last video about this, there were a lot of comments wondering whether GM was truly gonna destroy these cars. Well, they are. They're all sitting out in the parking lot ready to go. And again, this article will be linked below. But as you can see, it says, one of our Facebook friends posted these two photos of the 2022 C8 Corvettes that were allegedly inside the Corvette Museum, or I'm sorry, assembly plant, at the time when the tornado struck Bowling Green in the early morning hours of December 11th. Because of potential for contamination and damage to the electronics from the water that got inside the plant and into these open cars, General Motors made the difficult decision to destroy them with a crusher. It says estimates of 115 to 122 Corvettes that were lost have been abounded. And now thanks to our friend Cornell Warner, we have these two photos of those condemned Corvettes. And here are the two photos. You've already seen this one. Here's a close up. And as you can see, most of them do not have their uh, roofs on them or their fronts or their rear you know hatches but there are a couple out there with roofs you can see a yellow and a white with roofs uh, i don't really see any other ones out there with roofs but it says here very sad to see these going away but very understandable as gm wants to clear the board and give their customers whose Corvette dreams were delayed by the storm, a 2022 Corvette that they can drive worry-free. And that's the most important part here, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, here's the gentleman that shared the photos. So um, if you wanna thank him for sharing those, go to his uh, Facebook page and give him a shout out saying thank you for sharing these photos. But again, this is the most important thing here. As I stated in the video before, I wanted to congratulate GM for doing this. I know it was probably a very difficult decision, but they want to do right by their customers. And by the way, my last video about GM ruining the Z06, if you got your underwear in a bunch over that video, uh, please don't. This was just a video that talked about what my opinion was as far as the new colors that GM has come out with. If they don't come out with the colors I want, it's okay. I'm gonna buy a Z06, I absolutely love the car. And I think most of you realize that I absolutely love the car. I was just very disappointed in what GM came out with with the carbon flash and the pearl white. But please, don't get offended by a title to a video or a thumbnail to a video. That's just silly. It's just a title, it's just a thumbnail. And obviously in the video I explain the way that I feel about what GM did with these colors. Now, again, they could surprise us all and make all of us very happy or a lot of us very happy with these purple and green colors that we're all wanting but if they don't it's not the end of the world and again i'm still buying a z06 so anyway that's really going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope that you have your questions answered about the c8 corvettes that were damaged at the site and also hopefully the very first part that talked about the grill guards helps you now be able to make the decision knowing that obviously what was stated about the grill guards in the very beginning was false. They are not going to overheat your C8 and they will protect the radiators from rocks and other things that could fly up and damage them. So if you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. And again, if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to smash that red subscribe button. If you wanna join the Brink of Speed community and also make sure to hit that bell notification so that you're notified when the new videos come out. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys out on the road.
Thank you.